so um question uh question number is going to be storing the question number that's which question that's number what um which question so um we're just going to go um uh, sequentially we're going to start from num the first question that's question number one then question number two then question number three and so on until the questions uh, finish until we run out of questions now in an ideal uh, program you might want to make it um, you might want to make it uh, kind of uh, randomly so you can select whatever question at random so you could start from question number 10 and then next it chooses question number two so uh, that might not be a good way to uh, to to show somebody who is just learning programming because we're going to need arrays we're going to need to shuffle the array and things like that I don't want to bother you with uh, too much um, code that you might not that might get you confused so we're just going to do it sequentially so um, initially when we created this question number I think it might be a good idea to set it as one so um, this question number, when, when, when we created the variable, we just stored one inside. And uh, when we load next question, we're going to add one. Uh, okay, so let's make it zero since we're going to increment it. So um, whenever we load next question, it's going to increment the number. That's why I made it zero. It's going to increment the number before it does anything. So uh, that's why I changed the question number to zero. So when we load the next question, we're just going to increment the question number and then we do whatever we want to do. So um, what we want to do now is we want to switch uh, question number. Question number. Um, I'll explain what this switch does. I think this switch is part of the uh, program controls we're, we're going to be looking at in the class. They're very important. Switch, if, else, while loops, we're going to look them in depth. So uh, don't worry too much about what it's doing here. So uh, switch question number. And uh, now we're going to take the cases. So case one. So this means if the question number is question number one what is going to happen we're going to set the question label dot text property that's what's written on the question label to be we're now going to write the first question so suppose what we're going to write what is um let's say two plus three let's make it a, a, a simple question for the first question so um, what is 2 plus 3? That's the first question that will be displayed um, uh, as question number 1. Then we haven't finished. When we display that, we have to display the options. So uh, the options, are, if you remember, uh, it's, um, sorry, the buttons. Uh, the buttons are going to hold the options. I can't, I've forgotten the name of our buttons. Okay, button A, I remember now. Button A, uh, button A um, uh, is going to be button A dot text. So that's the text property is equal to, um, so we're just going to choose one of the, one of the, uh, uh, one of the options so we can give say six that's definitely a wrong answer so um, button B dot text give it um, say eight that's also a wrong answer and let's put the correct answer in button C dot text is equal to um, let's say oh that's five okay and finally, a button D dot text. We're going to put in, uh, let's put in 10. Okay, good. So if you notice, this is this takes the correct answer. So um, 
it doesn't really matter where the correct answer is because we're going to write the program to take care of that for us so it's just going to look for the correct answer and make sure that when the user selects the correct answer it tells him he's right and it increments the score by one so finally uh, still after writing the questions is going to document the answer this is quite uh, vital if you do not document the answer you're not going to know if the user got it right so we're going to document the answer as five notice I'm putting it as a string not as a number um, and that's it for case one we're just going to break and okay let's just leave it just one question uh, now if we had other questions we can do case two we can write case two here and write the question just like this the way we wrote it the question and then the options and then break and then if we have question three we can write uh, case three and so on so for now since we just want to test we're just going to put default and uh, default what will happen in default is when the questions have finished so we're just going to say questions label dot text is equal to um, uh, the questions so this is what will be displayed to the user the questions have finished uh, finished and your final score so we're going to display the user's final score for him or her so your final score is and then we're going to add or concatenate score so remember score is the variable where we're going to be uh, keeping uh, the user score so if we the final result there is five suppose the user ended with five points this is what will happen it will write the questions are finished your final score is five it will display five here because um, this is a variable it's not going to write score the way you wrote it here it's going to display the result whatever is stored inside score so um, finally we're going to break for the default and that's it so we have finished with loading next question I'm oh, sorry uh, yeah yeah that's it we finished with loading next question um, now we, we can just go ahead and test this program before we uh, continue so let's go ahead and play and see what it's going to look like so you see this is what um, the user sees what is 2 plus 3 so um, at the moment even if I click on the correct answer say 5 it doesn't it doesn't really do anything because we haven't programmed what will happen when the user clicks on the buttons so I just want to run this and show you what the program is going to look like so what is you can see the question is displayed there so um, I'll just close that or terminate that and continue with the uh, app now the next thing we're going to do is we've designed we've programmed what will happen to display a question and uh, load once the program starts it's going to load a question for the user to see it. like you saw when I played when I played the program you saw the uh, the first question now we're going to go ahead and take care of what happens when the user selects an option so suppose the user selects uh, this option so suppose the user selects button A he clicks on button A so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set choice so um, string choice this is another variable we've created is equal to um, whatever is written on top of button A so button A dot text so that's the user's choice if the user clicks on button a it means he selected what was written on top of button a so choi his choice is going to be button a dot text and next thing we're going to do we're going to check and see if 